Hi guys, this is Samyukta from ED Times and welcome to Op-Ed. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably heard about the horrific rape and murder of a vet that happened in Hyderabad recently. Now, this news has taken the country by storm, but specifically, it has affected people living in Hyderabad, especially young women students and young women who are working. Now, the reason is because as somebody who has studied and worked in Hyderabad, I can say that our lifestyle is not very different from that of the victim. At times, we have to go out late at night. At times, we have to travel alone. And now there's going to be that fear in the mind of every girl that what if something like this happens to her? What if some creep has been observing her? And at some time when she is in a disadvantaged situation, what if they try to drag her off and do something similar? As a result, girls in Hyderabad have started imposing some restrictions on themselves, making sure they're always in groups, making sure they are dressed a certain way and even not going out beyond a certain time out of fear that what if something like this happens to her, which is really sad because now it's the 21st century and we need to have the free, same freedom that guys do and stop having to live in such a regressive and, you know, caged manner. The, the problem is that this whole incident has also resulted in Hyderabad's image as a city taking a beating. I mean, till now it has been known as a friendly city with a lot of premier educational institutions where people come from all over the country to study. But um, it's also quite common in Hyderabad for um, strangers to offer help to people who don't know their way around or who are suffering some problem, breakdown, anything like that with their vehicle. In fact, even the victim was offered help by a stranger to change her vehicle tire. But now this is another thing. People are going to have trust issues with the city in general and not really want to accept help from a total stranger. We also don't know how far the police is really effective because till now the people who were the perpetrators of the crime are still not being uh, sentenced to any proper punishment and are being taken around. It's probably going to be another Nirbhaya case where they're going to be taken around from jail to jail, hearing to hearing and nothing actually happens beyond some candlelight matches. So, if you are a person living in Hyderabad and if you have any view on this, please share it with us and peace out.